Well, one of Microsoft's big exciting things for them about Windows 11 was a tight integration of Microsoft Teams. Good for them. <laughs> you and I probably don't care about this. I mean, unless you are in an organization that's using Teams, then you would really appreciate this tight Teams integration. Notice this chat feature on the taskbar. That is part of uh, none other than the Microsoft Teams functionality. So notice I'm going into the personalization area and I'm going to the taskbar settings and I am going to say, get rid of that chat icon. But of course, we know that Teams is still installed on this Windows 11 default installation. And we want to make sure we change that. Yeah, I have nothing against Teams. It's just I have absolutely no use for it. I am not in a company that's going to use it. And I'm not going to use it to chat with my friends because I'm not an idiot. All right, let's go ahead and, uh, oh, geez, I got a little too excited there. Where did I just go? Uh, we are in the settings app and I'm in the system category. And yeah, this is where I want to be. It's the apps area. And we are going to go to the installed apps and features area. And we are going to do a search for teams. And, you know, in rebellion, uh, my system is performing poorly. I haven't seen it perform poorly like this in a long time, but it's doing all of it, all it can to maintain these teams components. Look at this. So a Teams machine-wide installer, yikes, uh, you're going away. Thank you very little. And then let's see, I'm going to remove the components and then go for the removal of Teams itself because I'm assuming that would be the best order to go in. And we're about to find out together. My machine is so angry that I'm doing this. But yeah, you know, I don't want the disk space consumption. I don't want the attack surface on my Windows 11 machine. I don't want people attacking me via Teams when I don't even need or use Teams. That's another great reason to do this. And whatever hooks it has into the Windows 11 operating system, I don't want those hooks because I don't use Teams. I could go on and on for why I'm removing Microsoft Teams from my Windows 11 installation, but I won't. I'm just filling time. All right, darn it, I'll pause the video. And right when I paused the video, both of those components disappeared. Wow, it was a BOGO sale uh, with the removal. And forgive me, but I just learned what a BOGO means. Obviously, I'm not the shopper in the household, and so now I try and use BOGO whenever I can. Well, there we go. Goodbye, Teams. And teams will not come back now unless, of course, you suddenly join an organization and they say, we use Microsoft Teams and it's the greatest thing ever. And you're going to join us in this Teams adventure. And so now, of course, you're going to want Teams back. That would be the Microsoft Store, I'm guessing, would be a really easy way to do that. And I can't demonstrate this because right now my internet is down. Oh, no. But yeah, an easy way to get Teams back, just head on over to the Microsoft Store on your Windows 11 machine, should you decide to bring it on back. Thanks so much for watching.